boys and girls. Do you remember when we did the science experiment where we learned about the density of air? We used the soda bottle, we had a balloon, and we put the bottle with the balloon on top in hot water. And what happened? Do you remember? The balloon filled up, that's right. So then we put it into a bowl of ice cold water. And what happened? The balloon shrunk. It went back to laying flat on the bottle. <clears throat> so that was all about air density. Today, we're gonna learn about air pressure. How are we gonna do that? Well, let's talk about that. I have all of these supplies here on my table. I have some balloons. Now, I went with three different size balloons because I'm wondering if the size of the balloon is going to have any effect on my experiment. So we're gonna check that out. I have different size water bottles. So I have a water bottle here. This is your normal 16 ounce water bottle. I have a small soda bottle. I have a larger two liter soda bottle and then a Gatorade bottle. And as you can see, they're all empty, aren't they? Or are they? Is there something in there? Think back to the experiment we did on uh, the density of air, okay? Was there something in the water bottle? Okay, what else do I have here? <clears throat> well, I have this pitcher here, and it is full of just plain old tap water. Came right from my sink. Then I have a clear measuring cup. Hmm, what am I gonna do with all these things? Well, I am going to do a water balloon. Mm -hmm. You heard me right, a water balloon. This is going to be an air pressure experiment. Okay, so let me take a moment and get some of this stuff out of my way because we don't need all of this. Start by pouring some water into the measuring cup. Now this will hold 16 ounces. And if you're hearing that, you're hearing that the wind has just blown all of my water bottles away. Hmm. Science is so much fun. All right, I've got my balloons here. And I think we'll start out with a seven inch balloon. Let's see what a seven inch balloon will do. And if you hold on just a moment, I'm going to get the water bottle that blew away. And I'll put them behind me so that they don't blow away on me again. Or maybe they will. We'll find out. All right, so I've got this balloon, got this bottle. And as we said, there's nothing in the bottle. Or was there? Hmm. So I'm going to start by putting this balloon in the bottle. And I'm going to try to stretch this. Not this there. Over the top, over the open. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to blow the balloon up. Kind of weird, huh? Uh oh. What happened? The air just escaped. Hmm. Let's try that again. doing what it's supposed to on this water bottle. Let's try a different water bottle. All right. So I've got a different one here. Let's give it a little stretch, make it a little easier for me to blow up. And we'll put it inside 
just like we did before. And we're going to stretch the mouth of the balloon over the mouth of the soda bottle. Okay. And we're going to try to blow it up again. And let's see this time if we can get the balloon to stay blown up. Remember, it's science. Huh, how cool is that? All right, now that we've got the air in there, whoop, see, you can see it's still blown up. We are going to pour some water in there. Remember, I said this is a water balloon experiment. and a half almost. All right. Now, great. I've got a balloon inside a bottle and it now has water on it. Cool, huh? Watch this. <laughs> Best water balloon fight ever. All right. Let's try it again with a bigger bottle and a bigger balloon and see what will happen. All right, boys and girls, this time I grabbed the Gatorade bottle and I grabbed the nine inch balloon. Now, because we used some of the water before, I need to fill this back up. So, get some water in there. And I'm using about 16 ounces of water. Get this out of the way. Set that aside. All right, you remember what we do? We give the balloon a little bit of stretch, make it a little bit easier to blow up. And then we will put it right inside the Gatorade bottle. Stretch the mouth of the balloon over the mouth of the Gatorade bottle. it's all blown up in there pretty cool now I'm going to set it down fill it with some water do you think it's going to take more water or less water than the seven inch balloon we'll find out Oop. definitely more water there's the 16 ounces and it's not even full, it only came up to here. That's okay, have no fear. What is going to happen? We've already started to see some of the water spilling out. Are you ready for it? Water balloon fight! 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, blast off! <laughs> hmm, kind of interesting. All right, boys and girls, um, I said we had one more to do. I have this two liter soda bottle and I put my 12 inch balloon in there. And since we know that the nine inch balloon took more than the 16 ounces I could put in my measuring cup, I'm just gonna use my water pitcher here to fill up uh, the water in the balloon and see if we have enough this time, okay? So let's give it a start. We know that I need to blow the air into the balloon and we want the balloon to stay full of air. So let's give it a try. Wish me luck, because this is a big one. <clears throat> huh, it's there. All right, let's pour 
pour the water into it. This is really cool. It's always fun trying to pour water and not spill it all over. But what's a little wetness with a water balloon bite, right? Now while I'm filling this up, has anybody figured out how I'm keeping the air in the balloon? Or how the water doesn't immediately flow out of the balloon? Think about that. Remember what I said we were going to be talking about today? with this science experiment. What was it I said all the way back at the beginning of the video? My goodness, this is taking a lot of water. Oh, I think we made it. Did we make it? Yes. <clears throat> okay, so as we know, it's doing fine right there, right? But once I let go of this bottle, what's gonna happen? water is going to shoot out, right? All right, here we go. Are we ready? This is the best part. Oh. Well, it is pretty. It didn't shoot out like the first one. So it kind of lets you know the size of the bottle and the size of the balloon will affect the experiment. Hmm. I wonder if a smaller balloon in this larger bottle would have the same effect. I know I said this was going to be the last one, but I have to try. Hmm. You know what? Maybe I'll let you try. Yeah, that's what I think I'll do. I'll let you try, okay? So you are going to need balloons, all right? Um, remember, I used a seven inch balloon, a nine inch balloon, and a 12 inch balloon. Then you're gonna need a water bottle. Now, I tried the 16 ounce um, Arrowhead water bottle, okay? And it just crunched right up. Did not do what it was supposed to do. So I thought, okay, that one just didn't, that didn't work. So then I got the, let's see, I got, the soda bottle, the small one, and that did pretty good. That shot some water right up, didn't it? This was the nine inch, no, this was the seven inch balloon and the soda bottle. <clears throat> and this was the Gatorade bottle um, and the nine inch balloon. And it shot up pretty far, not as far as this one though, did it? And then we had the two liter soda bottle with a 12 inch balloon. And that was more like a bubbling water fountain. It was cool, it was pretty, but it didn't have that mmm. Okay. So there's so many ways you can do this. You can try the smaller balloons on the bigger bottles. You can do the bigger balloons on the smaller bottles. Mix it up, give it a try. And what I want for you is to do a video for me of trying the different combinations of water bottles and balloon sizes. Make sure you have your parents' help. Make sure you do it outside because it's a very messy experiment. Um, and have fun with it. There is something though that I haven't told you yet. How was I able to keep the air in the balloon inside the water bottle? Well, you remember I told you about this thing called air pressure? Okay, so we said with the water bottle that it was empty, right? But you and I know from our uh, density, our air density um, experiment that we did, we know that there's actually air inside this bottle. So while there's no liquid in here, there is air. <clears throat> okay, so 
when you put the balloon in here and you blow it up, that air that's already in this bottle has to go somewhere. Well, it's, where's it gonna go? Okay, there's a little trick. I don't know if you can see it, but right here, I have a hole in the bottle, bottom of this bottle. It's about the size of a straw, okay? And what happens is when I blow air into the balloon, it's pushing all of the air that's in here out this hole. Now, when I'm done blowing up the balloon, I have to quickly put my finger over that hole in order for the air to stay inside the balloon. Now, what's happening is you have air inside the balloon and you have um, the pressure from the air on the other side and it's not pushing back. There's nothing on this side. Well, I shouldn't say there's nothing. There's not as much air pressure as there was on this side because the, the balloon has pushed it all out. Then you fill it up with water, okay? You have to keep your hand over that hole. If you don't keep your hand over the hole, the air just comes right back out of the balloon, okay? So blow it up, cover the hole, fill it with water, and when you're ready to let the water go, when you're ready to let it shoot out, you let go of the hole at the bottom. Now all the air that the balloon first pushed out of the bottle is being sucked back into this hole. And it's pushing the balloon and the water up and out of the water bottle. It's all about air pressure. Give it a try at home. Um, and send me those videos. I want to know how much fun you had. I want to know if you were successful. I want to know if you had problems like I did because don't forget this one, the very first one I did, it really didn't work. And I think I know why it didn't work. This is a very thin plastic, very thin. This is thicker and this is even thicker yet. And so I think that helped hold the bottle shape, whereas this one was very thin and it didn't work. But remember, you can try and try and try and have it not work. And then all of a sudden you get it right and it works and bam, it's exciting, okay? So keep trying, send me everything you have. I wanna see it, pictures, videos, uh, write something up about it. Tell me all about it, tell me the steps and let me see you having fun, all right? So that is my science experiment for today. I hope everybody's staying safe and enjoying your time together. Bye friends.